This video is brought to you by Metal Deep, a sci-fi fantasy book series. Hey guys, Shasha Bain Tech, and I want to do a video about the new update on the Galaxy S5. This is the Verizon variant, and this is Android 5.0 Lollipop. This just got updated this week. I did a video about the installation guide. So this video, I want to go over the actual features and show you what it looks like. I've got the Nexus 6 over here, and we'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons with the differences between Samsung's version of Lollipop and Google's version. First of all, let's go over to lock screen. The lock screen actually looks a little different. You have a phone shortcut versus just the camera icon, which is a nice update with this because in the previous models, like the Galaxy S4 or Note 3, you were able to put a lot of different shortcuts down here that you wanted to, but you can't do that on the stock TouchWiz lock screen. So it's pretty cool that they at least added that. On the Nexus 6, you get a couple different options. You have the camera over here, you got your lock, and then you also have your phone. So it's pretty similar. You're also gonna get the same notification cards here as well and this is what it still looks like on Lollipop. It looks very similar, like you've got the same kind of actions and everything, except with the Galaxy S5, whatever kind of ripple effect that you have going on, you're gonna see that come up. You kind of see that little pop up with those bubbles there. And you can actually pull these down to see all the different notifications. Now I've got Android Wear connected, so you're always gonna see that. Here's a text message. I have some updated apps, and it also has one of my cards you know, predicting how long it's gonna to take to a place that I go sometimes. So, you can get rid of those by swiping those away, or you can tap on it to go to the notification and it should open up right to it. There we go. So that brought me right to my text message and I use Hangouts for my text messaging app. And that's gonna be the same action that you see over here. Now, as far as accessing other stuff, let's, as far as accessing other stuff like your main notification panel, you're going to notice the difference here is that you get one swipe here on the lock screen. You can access all your shortcuts. The same with this, but with that, it's a little different. You got all your main shortcuts right here, but you have to swipe over to get to the rest of them or to get to all of them. And you can edit those as you see fit. With this over here, you have just those shortcuts here, or whatever ones that you have programmed into it, or you can actually access your settings. And you also have an option to change your profile. You got different user profiles. You can add whoever you are, a guest, or even add a user. And you can switch to guest and do all that kind of stuff. Now you're not gonna be able to do that with the Galaxy S5. So let's go back to this here. And we're back to our normal profiles. You can't do any kind of profile switching on the Galaxy S5. So that pretty much does it for the lock screen. The other thing I want to show you, just the pop-up display is actually different now. It's got the lollipop style. So like let's for example, you got the phone options here for your power button. You got your power off, your airplane mode, restart, and also emergency mode. You can hit restart and that's what the pop-ups look like now. It's not a dark notification like we're used to seeing. So with Google's version, I actually don't like it as much because you only get the power option. Of course, you can install different modifications with the Nexus 6, different ROMs and so forth, but just the stock, you're only gonna have the power off option when the Galaxy S5 has a bunch of options, which I like. I like having the restart. I use that more and actually the power off. Let's go over some of the main icons. Your dialer has changed on the Galaxy S5. It's definitely a hybrid between like material design and touch whiz. They have like these different kind of colors going on like this Tennessee volunteer orange with a Miami Dolphin green. And then you have your different options over here. So the dialer definitely looks different. And then the dialer on the Nexus 6 is really just plain Jane. There's not much else to it. If you want to get to your different other notifications or toggles, you can hit back to get your favorites. Or on the Galaxy S5, you got your recent phone calls, your favorites, or you can access all your contacts. You also get a uh, plus sign down here when you access your contacts, so it just looks different. I like the design, actually. Let me just get that out of the way. I've actually enjoyed using the TouchWiz Lollipop hybrid kind of style now. I like it. I think it's so much better than what TouchWiz used to be. Now, obviously, I'm using Hangouts as my messaging app, so let's go back to the Messages app, the Stock Message app for 
this. And as you can see here, you can actually change your default apps like we used to with even with KitKat, but it looks different. So I'm gonna change it to the messages as my default. I can always go back and change it, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is the differences between the stock messaging apps. This looks a lot more like Lollipop. It's got the material design going on. So you can see here that the bubbles change, they're flatter looking, and you got you know your different options here to attach different attachments and whatnot. So it definitely looks different. I like the look, it's a lot better in my opinion. And this is the Messenger app, the text messaging app on the Nexus 6 that's actually downloadable in the Google Play Store. All right, so let's look over some of the other apps that might have changed a little bit here and there. Most of them have changed like the gallery. It looks a lot different now. It's got more of a timetable kind of look to it and flatter. It's really matching across the board for the most part as far as the app designs go. So you can see what that looks like now. Check out S Voice. I don't actually use S Voice, I use Google Now, but you can see here that it's got more of a material look to it. And you can see that the icon actually is updated a little bit, I think, too. So let's get out of that. I think that about does it as far as the you know, pre-installed apps. Let's go to our settings. The settings has actually changed quite a bit. This used to be a black background or a dark background. Now it looks like Lollipop. Now the Lollipop on the Nexus 6 has more of a darker blue. This is a brighter blue. And that's something that Samsung has announced is that it's actually got brighter colors, but it still has the material design to it. One thing that you're gonna notice on the Galaxy S5 with the Verizon variant is that you got advanced calling now. I've already enabled it, and you can turn it on and off right here. And one of the ways that you can see that it's got a different icons at the bottom is that you got this video button here and also the dialer button. So it's actually active on the Galaxy S5 now. So it's pretty cool, I like that a lot. As you move on down, we can go to some different aspects of this. Sound or notification, you know, that actually changed a little bit. It's not what it used to be like when, I'll just show you, like when you press the volume button, you get a pop-up here. You can tap the settings button there, and then you have different options here to where, it used to be where you had sliders for each thing, like your notifications, your phone, and then your system or media, and you can you know switch it out how you want, how the volume rocker goes, but it's different now. It's more like the lollipop setup, which you can just toggle mute, vibrate, or sound just for different purposes. And then you can set it to where it is like that indefinitely at all times, or you can just do it for an hour. And I'll show you what that looks like here on the Nexus 6. This is actually black up here, so that's different. And you can see the different options here as you toggle back and forth. Now one thing I always do on my phones is I go to developer options and I change the animation speeds. That way it kind of seems like it's a faster phone than what it actually might be. I always put it to 0.5. So if you see my phone zipping along faster than what you're seeing, it's because of that. And also in my Nova launcher, by the way, that I use, I don't use the stock TouchWiz launcher because I just don't like it. I use Nova launcher and that's how I set it up. Anyways, I have those animations pretty short as well, pretty quick and snappy. Another feature that I want to point out is I like how TouchWiz actually does their drop-down menu. It's just one action, and you're able to get to all the different shortcuts up here with just one swipe. Now, on the Nexus 6 or you know, just the Google ROM, is that you got to do double. You do one for notifications and then another swipe down to get to your shortcuts. I like how this is set up more because it's less work, I guess you could say. You know, not saying that like this is a ton of work to do two swipes, but I do like just having the one to get to the main stuff. And if I need to get to more, I can just, you know, open up this box up here. I accidentally hit the Bluetooth, but here's what the Bluetooth settings look like. So yeah, it's like, I like what Samsung has done. I think it's a great update to what they had in the past. It's definitely dialed down some. They got their own twist on what Lollipop looks like for them, but it's such a better update than what we've seen in the past. You can actually tell a difference. I would say between you know, KitKat and the update before that, there wasn't too much of a difference. This is a very noticeable difference. One last feature that I wanna point out is that you have the recent apps has been updated and it's more of this card style to where you can swipe away each one if you want to 
or you can hit close all, which that has a one up on this because if you hit the recent apps here, you don't get a close all. It's just the single apps and that's <laughs> kind of annoying to me. I don't want to sit here and just, you know, swipe away, swipe away, swipe away, swipe away, swipe away, swipe away, swipe away. Oh my gosh, I'm at the end now. <laughs> With uh, this one, all I have to do is just hit the close all and I actually can go to the task manager if I want to. So I like how they added that feature to the recent apps button. So this has been a tour around Android 5.0 Lollipop and the Galaxy S5. I've got the Nexus 6 here with Android Lollipop, the same kind of update, but we kind of see the differences between what Samsung interprets Lollipop as and what Google interprets it as. And some of the features are really cool on this and you know others are cool on this one. So it's kind of one of those things where it just kind of depends on your taste of what you want to get. But I definitely think that this is a great update that Samsung has done. And it's really surprising that Verizon beat so many other people to the punch as far as pushing this out to the Galaxy S5. Really cool by Verizon. It was a nice surprise, I'd say. So I'd, I'm just going to say thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so so you can see more videos like this. Now I can't leave out the Easter egg in this. I did this in the, my other video, but might as well just do it here too. If you tap on the Android 5.0 a bunch of times, you get this. You can change the colors. And then when you hold it down, you are taken to Flappy Droid. It's really hard to do this through the camera lens, so I'm going to go off to the side real quick. Try to at least get one point. Ah, it's starting at the bottom a lot. Ah, I give up. Anyways, it's, it's just too hard to go through the camera. <laughs>